Okay, Tyler, um, I'm doing something different with you in that I'm, I'm using a major league comp just because I think it's too abstract to just talk about this stuff I want to show you. And quite frankly, I think that you've got the physical talent to be the best hitter we've had in the last 10 years. And one little thing to clean up, I think, can really help if you, if, 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 if you work on this. So I have Joey Votto up because I see a tremendous amount of similarities. And two things that I wanted to point out, and it's easy to talk about both because of your mastery of the kinetic chain and your understanding of how the body moves from pitching. So the first thing is I would encourage you to really feel your back hip load when you're making your negative movement. I think you get a little bit into your back leg. Let me show you what I mean. So as you go backwards, I think you get a little into your back leg. You can see the, the, the angle of your hips there. As we watch, and again, there's different styles, but as you watch Joey Votto, you can see he just sinks into hip load there. He's got a little bit more of a pinch, and he's much more level as he goes forward. I think you get a little bit into your back leg. You can kind of see your posture there. As you make a negative movement, I think you're a little bit more into your leg than in your hip, as you can really see the difference between you and Votto, just as far as how he's a lot straighter in there, and you've got a little bit more of an angle on yours. That may lead to the next thing that I'm talking about. So as you get to, as you're coming to toe touch here, let's back it up a little bit here, right? It's not a must, okay? But I think you might be a guy that benefits from feeling, let me just roll my finger with Joey Votto. See how his hands kind of fall into the slot there? See how he's creating a little bit of movement? and falling into the slot. As you watch your hands, as your foot's coming down, see how they're sliding down? See how the barrel is disappearing behind your head there as you get to toe touch? Whereas if you watch Joey Votto, again, he's sinking into his back hip, maintaining his back hip load, and see the difference to where he gets to as he gets to toe touch there. So we're really talking, and you can see there the difference, and this is why I said I thought you were getting into your back leg a little bit as opposed to your back hip. You can really see the difference as far as how Votto is able to transfer more of that weight into his front side and see how level his hips are. Whereas I think you're a little bit on your back side. But the big thing that I wanted you to see from these two is, again, watch what happens to your bat as your foot's coming down. See how you're sliding down there as you get into toe touch? Whereas Votto, see how he's getting into a much better loaded position. So now, as we get into heel strike, there... See where your bat has gone to? See the barrel, where the barrel has gone to? Now as Votto gets into heel strike, see where his bat is. So you can see like how much easier it's going to be to take a direct path to the ball, especially when the ball is inside, right? And so you have unprecedented power. You have unprecedented ability to disassociate your lower half movements from your upper half movements. It's why, quite frankly, you can absolutely mash the baseball. What I'm suggesting here is how you can move earlier in your swing to maximize those amazing abilities you have. Well, why do you hit the ball so hard and so far? Well, as you have heel into the ground there, you can see your hands are still back, right? That's, that's you're creating amazing stretch. But as you look at your hands versus Votto, you can see how he's in a much better position to hit. The other thing, too, is you can see as his heel's into the ground, you can look at the angle of his back leg, whereas you can see you're still a little bit on your back leg. And you know you clearly understand that from pitching. And so as you watch Votto's hands being pulled out of the slot, 
straight to the ball. Now you can compare that with your hands and see how it's a longer pass. See how the barrel is back behind there. If we were to go to Votto, you can see the difference in where his bat is. And as a result, it's a little bit longer to get to the ball. And you can see how you just go back a little bit from extension because I think you get stuck a little bit on that backside. You can really see how your head goes back. And I know some guys' heads go back. I know a guy named Aaron Judge, his head goes back a little bit. But I think that we could get rid of, that's, the, that's right there is the spot that I want to improve with you, Ty. And again, you can kind of see the difference to where Votto is right there. And I think what's going to help get your hands in a better position to go straight to the ball and maximize that power is, again, let's walk it all the way back. And I think this is a really good investment of time. I appreciate you looking at this. Is watch the negative movement a little bit more into your leg. Watch the negative movement. Wow, look at how he sits into that back hip. And that back hip gets going forward right away. He sits into that back hip, and that back hip gets going forward. Let me roll back. Sits into his back hip, back hip gets going forward. I think you get a little bit more into your leg. You definitely have the idea of going forward. But again, look at the difference in the angle of your hips versus the angle of Votto's. I think feeling that, which you definitely can because of your pitching ability, like I'm going to like load my back hip and then feel that move forward level, that's going to take out, again, watching your barrel. Everything's good there. Now watch as you get into the ground. See how everything starts to move down there versus Votto getting into the ground and see where he gets his hand set up or the angle of his bat as he gets his hand set up as he's actually still going back a little bit with his hands as you let your barrel fall just a little bit. At heel strike, at heel strike. And that's the spot that I'd like to see you get to, Ty. Um, again, your hands are back. You're generating insane amounts of power. But it's you can just tell it's, it's really intuitive that it's going to be really hard to get the bat to the ball from that spot. And you can also see, again, how much, again, Votto, how his back leg goes and how different it is from your back leg. And that allows him this, I'm just going to roll this. Wow. Watch back hip loaded. Now watch how he's going to violently unload it into his front side there. Whereas you get a little bit more of a sinking action. Votto just gets a straight up, boom, explosive action. Where you're getting that downward action a little bit into our back leg. So, and, and, and the end result is he's able to go straight to it and long through. We get a little bit of an around type of action, but I think you're going to be so fast. Again, I'll just kind of roll my finger. Feel yourself load your hip. And then get into my front side. So we take out, see how that bat's going back down behind your head. You might really want to think about, hey, as I work on loading my back hip, I'm also feeling my hands coming back up so that I'm getting into that slot so that when I pause my video, I see my hands there, excuse me, the barrel up there, right, versus the barrel coming down behind my head. And I think that, again, if you feel like I'm going to get my back hip loaded, not my back leg, I think that that's going to help out with a lot of this. So I hope that helped. I'm really excited to see what you do your senior year. And I thought that this would be a very good comp to, uh, to give you.